The views expressed in the dialogue and commentaries are solely those of the individuals providing them and do not reflect the opinions of Falcon Sports, its parent, affiliate, or subsidiary companies. Viewer discretion is advised. Falcon presents the Falcon Debrief Airsoft Live Show, sponsored by Enola Gay and Elite Force. The Debrief is the most interactive airsoft podcast online, and it comes to you each week in glorious high-definition resolution. Enjoy many experiences, including our energetic hosts, interactive polls, special guests, live caller hotline, event announcements, and video premieres. And be sure to check out the Valken Alliance, which offers many benefits, including airsoft team sponsorships. The Debrief also broadcasts live from many locations worldwide, from California in the United States and all the way to Germany in Western Europe. It's also easy to get your Airsoft event on the show by just sending us a Facebook event link. And if you miss any broadcasts, you can catch the Rewind on SoundCloud or YouTube. And please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Now sit back, relax, and get ready for your Falcon Debrief. Hey guys, it's Chris from Manola Gay, and it's time for Vulcan Debrief Live. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's another week, another episode of the Falcon Debrief Airsoft Live Show. 123? 123, Live right. show in Airsoft? Yes. With the most fans, the most biggest budget, the coolest people, the best guests. I'm sorry, I'm just bragging here at this point, aren't I? The only ones putting on any kind of Airsoft uh, venue right now? This is the home of Airsoft in the entire world right now, apparently. It is. <laughs> it's the only place it you can, can talk about Airsoft occasionally. <laughs> So we are episode number 123. I am the Kaiju, the Supreme Commander of the Falcon Alliance. This is Peltast. Hey, guys. Um, quick notification. Do, do for you remember your title? Yes, I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, like, okay. You're interrupting my announcements here. You're breaking my flow. My bad. Um, all citizens of Baby Shire. Um, this is a more of a public service thing. If you're going to mask up, understand that you know beards aren't necessarily conducive to masks so if you want full protection you're going to have to shave the sides down and get the full biker beard or wear a shemag or wear a shemag that yeah. works too there's a great video on like you don't you don't want to you don't want to see him with a mask because it looks like his hair just pooking out the sides oh no it's, it just it, it looks like uh like a bikini day when at the first oh. spring like that's what my wife said it looks like oh my yeah goodness. it's pretty bad um but yeah just remember if you're going to mask up and you want full protection you know, shave the sides or you got to encompass the whole beards in your mask. Yeah. You know, just quick public safety. Now. Oh, yeah. Share the show. Tag your friends. Get them in here. We're already up to 37 guests. So we get up to 50. You know the deal. We will be giving away a prize. Toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> or masks. I mean, you we know. get to 100. I will give you a pack of baby wipes. You'll be good. To go. <laughs> so tag your friends. Get them in here. We're already up to 43. Yes. Um, I don't think this has anything to do with man, us. We, we, I think got, this is all VFA. I, I think know, this right? is the Freddy Flux. Everybody wants to say the Freddy Flux up? train. Yes. We've got uh, Javier from uh, Centurion Milsim, Jerry Ross from <laughs> Gorilla Airsoft Podcast. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the chat right now. Chris Kramer, Chris Kramer is like, there goes the neighborhood. You invited Freddie Flux into the community and all his people, and now it's all just downhill from here. Yeah, we got Nick Harnish in the house, Mike Nation, what's up? Oh. Jesse Gracia, which we have a very special treat for Jesse later on in the show. You have to stick around the whole show, though. Yep, Two hours right. and you get it. It's like a reward. It's like dessert. Oh, Harleen Quinzel. I have not seen her in a minute. That's famous uh, Mogun's sister of Mogun's, right? No, 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 no. no, no. That, who's that? Oh, wait, okay. No, you always. <laughs> Do I mix that up? She was the tall blonde at Copperhead. Copperhead. Okay, yeah. Now, yes. I know now you know who you. Now we know. I get mixed up. <laughs> I just I just hear Harley Quinn, and that's all I think of is Terry's oh, sister yeah. because she is Mrs. Harley Quinn for this area. If True. You, if you're if you're doing Harley Quinn and you're not checking out Derek's sister, then you're not doing Harley Quinn. <laughs> She's got it down. <clears throat> Alex Mead's in the house. Sam Asadi from Airsoft Junkies. What's Love up, you, junkies? Sam. I've we'll, watched your video. I've watched some of those videos. Junkies are doing some great little projects yeah. while they have some free time. So Will check those Pace out. from Black Ops up in Bristol. What's Mike up, Black Ops? Machado up in the Denver area. What's up? Well, Denver. We yep. have actually local viewers. Yeah. Ted Collagrove in the house from Primer Productions Media. Ooh. RJ Yannick. 
Um, and we have a tradition here on the show each and every week. The first commenter I, uh, in the chat when we go bam. live gets 50 graphic. exposure bucks, goes to Javier Franco. Javier Franco? I mean, can we he give was it to first. Him? He beat Ethan Are Vaughn. we allowed to talk about it since he works for Centurion? Is that allowed to be talked about? Is that you okay? said Centurion correctly. Oh, God, I did. Oh, um, <laughs> I mean, Centra, Centricillion. Centricillion. <laughs> oh, He's going to be mad I said it right this time. Hey, if you want to uh, see a special topic or a certain guest on the show, uh, please give us a call on, leave a voicemail, area code 856. Not our hotline, it's our cold line right now. Yes, 975-0650. Um, yeah, tell us about what's going on, or if you want to hear a certain topic or a certain guest, give us a call. Speaking We'd love that, to hear you. What have you been up to this week? This week, um, uh, my son has been getting tutorials in how to be uh, a good cameraman and grip. Oh, so he's learning some of your... Uh, yeah, he's you learning get some, some video stuff. He's helping you out with some work stuff? Yep, we did we, cool. we did a, a Shamog video at the beginning of the week. Today, we did another video, which I can't say what it's for. <gasps> It's Super Secret Squirrel Project that's coming out. Like Ninja uh, Squirrels. Yeah, Ninja, ninja <laughs> Flying Squirrels. squirrels in, in that's spaceships. right. <laughs> um, no, we've, we've just been uh, doing a lot. I mean, everybody knows that uh, Airsoft and Paintball is uh, slow going, but we are still supporting uh, gun stores, uh, selling lots of gun bags. We're supporting hospitals, selling them uh, our Tyvek coveralls, which is kind of cool. Normally, hospitals have like blue or green. Now they can have multicam and like no, all no, that. they have woodland camo, <laughs> woodland camo coveralls. <laughs> cool, that's, um, so they can look tactical. While oh yeah, while they're fighting the good fight. We've uh, we've sold a ton of goggles, like the VSM mask, where the one it's the goggle with the with the flip up hard mask. Um, hospitals have actually loved that because it's a rubber seal. There's no foam. Oh, that's so cool. They can actually open the mask and still have their eyes protected, so they can flip it up or flip it down. So, so they've been loving that. You can get you can get some protection from yep. your, your airsoft stuff. Yep. So we, if it stops a BB, it will stop air. Basically, is the idea. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Um, oh, and the last thing um, with the gun stores, we've been selling home defense. We've been selling pepper ball uh, with our markers to help the, the preppers, three percenters, gun stores. I have to so. say, here's, here's my issue with pepper ball is that I'm one of those rare people who's not allergic to capsaicin. So I'm more considerate a way to like spice up my food. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that the, I learned that not the hard way, the easy way when I went through mace training or was it pepper spray training it where you eat sprayed. Yes. Yeah. Everybody else is freaking out and I'm just like, this doesn't feel that bad. I just have stuff in my <laughs> eyes. Can I wipe it out now? <laughs> yep. And we want to give a big shout out to our podcast listeners Oh, SoundCloud. Oh, over in SoundCloud. you got to raise your eyes a little Do bit. I raise? Oh, yeah, I'm there you go. To, okay, sorry. Come on, Wilson. Am I, am I Wilsoning again? Okay, <laughs> yeah. back up here. We had, a big, we had a benchmark, didn't we? Yeah, SoundCloud? we had 300 followers 300. on SoundCloud. Thank you so much for sharing and liking and all that other stuff. You are keeping this show alive because if no one watches it, then, you know, there's no budget. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, also, we want to give listen, a, sorry. a big shout out to... Our, our sponsors. Are we here? Yeah. Oh, mind the graphics? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> big shout out to the Valken Alliance. Um, this is what this is what the show is all about. It's all about community, uh, keeping folks connected, um, especially during this time of social isolation. Go check out the Valken Alliance on Facebook and check out the local regional groups and, uh, you know, do some online live gaming, are RPG we, and something. Are we calling it uh, a pyramid scheme, multi-level, get rich, get rich, we'll call it get rich quick scheme now. That's what we're <laughs> going to call it. Because you just sign more people up and there's more people that, that sign more people up and eventually you're a millionaire. Yep. This is how it works. So, uh, <laughs> also we have Enola Gay and Elite Force, our premier sponsors of the show as well. They make some quality products, I, I have to say. They do. They're, so, it's kind of interesting that the three of us have uh, partnered up. Um, you know, we distribute their products. We are probably the, th not probably, we are the th only three companies in Airsoft that are manufacturers that are still open for business, open our Wait, doors. Hold on. So I can order some Vulcan stuff right now. Can I order some Elite Force? Yeah. Can I order some Enola Gay? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what I'd use the Enola Gay stuff for except smoking out my wife, like, you know, in the bedroom to get her to oh, yeah. do stuff. But, you know, other than that. Our I mean, website still, you can order stuff off cool. our website. Stuff still shipping. Because, I mean, like, I saw a lot of people doing um, posts about, I got this great project I'm going to do for quarantine. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm going to build my dream gun. I'm going to do some painting. I'm going to do this. I'm going to modify. I'm going to hack this. And then, like, a week later, they all posted the results, and I haven't seen anything since. So, you know, 
keep in mind there's still people selling stuff. If you want to yeah. work on projects, this is the time to do it because there's nothing holding you up. Patrick Patrick Daly asks, do any of your sponsors make multicam COVID masks? Well, normally, you know, like the N95 masks are, about, you know, they're like five bucks a piece, five to six bucks a piece retail. Well, if you put that multicam license, now it's about $20 just well, I mean, for that could, little piece of multicam if fabric. If you have a little bit of fabric, you could just put it over your mask. And as long as you don't puncture the mask that's true you are now multi-cammed up so you could like shoe glue it to the mask something like that or you would just glue it actually yeah you just glued in the corners and now you're multi super glue it, yeah and you know though it is not a barrier to um bacteria every barrier that you can put between you and the outside world will help a little bit um hot tip about that if you're making your own um barrier mask guys or your head face coverings as per the cdc uh, shop towels, the blue ones from O'Reilly and Advance and all that stuff. Oh, sorry, we can't, we can't, we can't promote CDC anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, are we not doing that? Okay. Yeah. So uh, anyway, but yeah, just, shop. Just go educate yourselves. Shop towels are a good barrier. <laughs> um, they're, they're better than nothing. So look it up. Shemogs. <laughs> Shemogs. Combine them together. Multi wraps. Okay, cool. Just something to keep you from touching your face. Don't yes. touch your face. Don't touch your face. All right, we're gonna cut but to. You a... can touch other people's faces. <laughs> no, wait, no, don't do that either. No, no. <laughs> we're gonna cut to a quick commercial break, and we're gonna be right back with our special guest. Super excited, Freddie Flux bacon. from so Veterans for Airsoft. Um, last time we had. A, on our show was actually my birthday in 2018, July 2018. So that's a, it's, it's 2020 now. That's a long time ago. I know. It's amazing. Almost two years. So mm. we're going to talk to him and see what see what's been going on since the beginning. So don't go anywhere. Uh, this guy's doing a lot for veterans. Uh, in veterans his causes. Local, yep. Veterans issues. Yep. Veteran people. Yep. Veteran families. I'm just trying to say the word veteran as I many know, times right? as possible. By the way, if you guys don't know, before we go to commercial, the word of the night is veterans. Veteran. Is what? Veteran. Oh, I thought you said family. I said veteran. Oh, okay. I thought you said family. Did I say family? Let no, us know it's veteran. Chat. I probably Word of the night is veteran. <laughs> don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Hey, this is Sal with Third Coast Airsoft at Bone Strike, and you're watching The This is the Valken ASL AEG Tango. They come with a billet style nylon fiber receiver and ambidextrous features including a selector lever and magazine release on both sides. Up front, it has a 12.5 inch free floating M-lock rail as well as front and rear high-vis flip up sights. We recommend using a Valken 9.6 volt nickel metal hydride or a 7.4 volt lithium polymer battery, which is sold separately. The velocity is 340 feet per second and comes in two tone black and desert. Thanks for watching and please leave a review to tell us what you think. Welcome back to the Falcon Debrief Airsoft live, live show. show. Extra live today. We are extra, extra live with technical difficulties. So we lost our guest for a couple minutes, guys. So we're just waiting for him to call us back. So we're just going to hang out while we're waiting for it. So you you asked me what I did this week. What did you do? What this did week? I do this week? Yeah. Um, so I did a lot of painting um, and I did a little eBay hunting because my son finally is this close to finishing his first box set of orcs. So I said, once you finish, we'll start building your army up. Orcs for what? Works for 40K. 40K. Warhammer, yeah. So the next step is this weekend, we're going to start putting together our own board, like a full six by four foot board. Um, we got some terrain coming. There's actually a lot of great laser cut stuff out there now where you can just fold stuff. So you don't have to actually paint and build terrain. Yeah. Um, so you got buildings for it. So nice. once we should be playing full on like war, actual Warhammer, not just boxes on a table in our units. Nice. By, like, oh, we're at 49. Did we hit 50? Oh, we got 51. We Joshua did, we Brown. 51. We, got 51. we got 51. And... Yeah. It was a good sign because we have got back Mr. Freddie Freddy Flux from Veterans for Airsoft. What's up, Freddie? How you doing, brother? Hey guys, how are you? Good oh. evening. What happened? Did you did you have a phone snafu? No, uh, you know the weather's been really snafu. Oh, so, okay. uh, gotcha. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of which, you guys got some hail recently. That was impressive. Yes, last night uh, it was savage. I was outside playing in the rain. Yeah, That's not it, rain. That that video was actually very funny. If you if you hadn't seen it and you are friends with Freddie on his Facebook page, head on over there. It's actually a, a cool video of him running in his backyard with like 
you know, golf ball, not half, about half like marble, size, marble, marble, marble size, size hail. Yeah. He runs out there with his helmet and, and would his you say like, like God won't, God won't, God keeps overshooting me or something like that. Yeah. Or Nature <laughs> keeps overshooting me or I called my keeps, hits. <laughs> he's out there saying I'm hit, I'm hit. But the, you know, the hail is still falling. So that was pretty, that was pretty. Oh, funny. they got snow up in Wisconsin right now. Apparently. Really? Wow. Says, yeah. oh. I told you I saw those flurries. Yeah, that's that's horrible because here, this guy to my left here has doomed us to four more winters before we get summer. Sorry, I saw my shadow. He did. Um, the, did. When the kaiju sees his shadow, it's 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 five more weeks of random winter. So, um. <laughs> so Freddie, you are a veteran. I am a veteran, and you also run drink veterans for airsoft. <laughs> that is correct. So, uh, for those that uh, do not know you. Um, tell us a little bit background of uh, your military life. Wait, wait. Are you saying he's a veteran? He is a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> wait, am I the only veteran on? No, we're both veterans. No, we're too. both veterans. And there's oh, okay. a lot of veterans that watch this show. Yes, a lot of veterans. <laughs> Great. Shout out to all the veterans. <laughs> um, so I, jo- I joined the military Navy uh, straight out of high school. Uh, I enjoyed my summer and then. Um, I went up to Great Lakes here in Illinois and uh, hung out for a little while, got my schooling, and then I deployed uh, over to a Ford deployed submarine tender in Guam Wait, for a while. A, what's a submarine tender? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm an Army guy, so this is all, you yeah, know. It's an auxiliary ship. Uh, so what we do is we support all the submarines that are out in that area of the world. So if they need, so like, medical them, stuff or, like, food, you show up with it? Yeah, so my job was actually, uh, I was a torpedo man's mate, so we got to deal with the big booms. Um, oh, cool. And weapons handling and stuff like that. So it was, uh, it was a good time out there. And then I came back stateside and started growing my family and got out of the military about seven years in. And uh, now I'm a fitness trainer, massage therapist, and I run a nonprofit and <laughs> shoot people for fun with BB plastic. BBs, these are replicas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to be. We have to be specific. So, when we're is... dealing with veterans, <laughs> and guns, <laughs> we need this. We need to make sure we clarify. That is so that is nonprofit yeah. BFA. I mean, this it's it must be work. I I don't have time for something like that. What was your inspiration? What made you decide to start doing what you're doing? And more than else, what is VFA? Um. So. Just like everybody else that usually gets in, a, a buddy said, hey, you know, um, you want to check out Airsoft? And he was a veteran. Uh, so I said, yeah, sure. And I joined his team. We started playing. And then, you know, we tried to advance the team and things kind of went haywire. And instead of quitting Airsoft, I decided that I wanted to continue what what the, t- the team was. So and so veterans for Airsoft. <laughs> yeah, I, need, I needed a re- I told my wife, I said, you know, I think I'm done. And she's like, why i'm like well just you know like i don't have a team anymore and then uh i met javier franco around that time and from centromillion yeah yeah from centromillion this is getting bad i fell for that one you you have forgotten (laughs) next week next week we have colonel verduga Oh, I'm so and excited! And Javier on the show. I'm next week. so excited. Up. So Ugh. you met. So you met Javier. So you met Javier. Sorry. Yeah. And um, so he introduced me to Centurion, and um, then I went to a TCA game, and the rest is history as far as Milsim goes. And VFA just kind of um, took shape, took form, and these guys have been supporting it. The community has been supporting it, and now we get more veterans out uh, playing airsoft, playing Milsim, going to events and uh engaging in the community with the rest of us nerds and so, i think it's fantastic so what is what is the the ultimate goal why do you want to get veterans out playing airsoft um you know when we when we're talking about uh things that make us feel better things that uh you know uh, get us up off the couch engaging in in activities that are normal for society's sake uh airsoft's got its niche market and we find that there's a lot of video gamers, uh, a lot of uh, uh, eclectic people, and Airsoft has room for everybody at the table. And the veteran community is very much, you know, the same way. We've got people that are far left, far right, and Airsoft's a way that we can connect with anybody everywhere 
that ever wore a uniform if what, they want to pick up an airsoft gun. <laughs> what I think is really funny is a lot of people don't realize that most people join the military because we're doing a form of cosplay. Like we're living a dream. Yep. A lot of us do that. Like, you know, you ask a grunt, what, you know, you ask him some guy from the 82nd why he joined. He's like, I want to jump out of airplanes and kill shit. You know what I mean? You ask a guy <laughs> in the Navy, he's like, I want to see the world. You ask a submariner and he's like, I really like guys. But, um, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I, I had, had somebody I, tag uh, Chad I, Carlton. I had to take a shot on that one. I had to um, tag Greg Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, everybody's kind of role playing their fantasy in the military for a lot of people. And so a lot of people don't realize, like when I was in the barracks, it wasn't uncommon that I'd be walking around on Friday nights and guys would be playing magic in the hall. And I'm not saying like magic, like, you know, like um, like pulling rabbits out of hats. No, magic, like, the magic the Gathering. The gathering yeah, you know? the Gathering. Uh, Warhammer mm. is huge in, in my veteran community. It's huge. Oh, uh, it is. And <clears throat> nerds. A plenty. This in Denver this year on Fourth of July weekend was supposed to be. <clears throat> excuse me uh denver pop culture con it's a comic con right it's the biggest one in in colorado and it was it had a patriotic theme it was it was supporting veterans <clears throat> and i actually was asked to lead a panel of uh you know just nerddom, nerddom in, for veterans. in military life <laughs> which you people know? are always surprised that we're all nerds. right but it's it's all about you know Military folks are in, you could probably attest to this, Freddie. It's like you're sent this place, you're sent that place, you're away from home, whether you're married or not. Spend a lot of time in your head. You know, <laughs> and you, you just have to adapt. Yes. yes. You just need yeah. a place that's healthy to escape your environment mentally for a couple hours. And it, it doesn't have to be nerd stuff. Like spades is hugely popular. In oh, yeah. What's, what's the name of the Especially the motor pool. Place. Yeah, motor pool. They love <laughs> spades. Yeah, no, we play spades. Yeah. And, you know, I, I've got a story. I remember coming down the first time into the shop, in the, into the torpedo shop, and the FTs all had their their little, you know, flat screen TVs, the tiny ones when they first came out, all hooked up, all playing uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, they were, you know, yes. they had all these computers hooked up. And it's like, oh, wow, everybody's a form of nerd one way or another. And, you know, uh, it's not for everybody. Yeah. But I mean, everybody what's... that we've taken out said, a blast. I mean, what's basically a nerd? So you're you're pa you're passionate about, about a something about something. Yeah. Because honestly, like I would put even guys, you know, the model car guys, like or like you know, guys who do carpentry, they're mm -hmm. not considered nerds, but those guys live their hobbies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's just a more public, less accepted way of living your hobby, but that's changing. Yeah. Because we're all it's all okay. So we've had several uh, new folks joining us. We've we've peaked over fifty a couple times Did tonight. We? So oh, uh, Josh McNeil here, by the way. Hey, Josh. Josh sorry. McNeil from MC yes. Kydex. And also, sorry. Not to interrupt again, Sisu dropped in, and I just want to say Sisu Milson. Sisu has been making masks and po posting it recently. Yes. And she's been, I think she's up to like five or six hundred she's made and sent out. So awesome job, way to contribute. Heck yeah. So the way it works is so we've already hit the 50 benchmark. So I, I do still have some Airsoft Innovations, Cyclones, and XL just Bursts a few. to give just away. A few. So we're definitely going to give one, one of those tonight. The way it works is the more you comment, the more you interact. The more entries you get. The more entries you get in, into the electronic drawing. And if you have a question for Freddie or for us, just put it in the chat. We're more than happy to answer questions for you um, or anything. So I got one, buddy. Speaking of questions. Um, so what's the status of VFA right now? Like, I know I've been seeing updates left and right. You got the chair. You got some kit. You got the trailer. Like, what is it looking like? Because it looks like you're right about hitting that goal that you wanted to be at a couple years ago. So yeah. what's what's the status of what's going on with that? So, you know, when you when you sit down and you, and you start something, you kind of want to have like a, an end goal. And for me, I just like, OK, within five years, I want to put together and coordinate a airsoft milsim field training exercise that's all encompassing. Uh, we cook for you. We put up the big GP tents as a group. Uh, we're transported together. There's this, this idea that the the experience starts with us picking you up at your front door and it ends with us dropping you off and you get to experience what it feels like to travel to a national Nelson. That's and very so we're cool. like, how do you deliver that all encompassing? And when we first came out, we were kind of controversial. Um, a lot of people didn't know what to think, you know. The, there's... the trolls are out there no matter what. I mean, and well, honestly, in, the, and, in the track history of yes, those the, that have done yeah. and tried before, you know, yes. we could, the track we could history. Take up all... so, Freddie and VFA were were paying for a lot of 
woes that were actually created by organizations before yep. VFA, which is you know which is a bit unfair, but I mean, rightfully to, so. To, to rightfully oh yeah, so. to yeah. attest I mean, to 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 Freddie though, he's still here, so he's he's doing it right. He's got his paperwork. Promoters are asking him to come to his event. Yes. Promoters are asking VFA to be there and they're doing, by the way, your raffles are really uniquely cool. Those give the the raffles you do for those cutouts and the fact that you've kind of, that's your signature thing you guys are doing. If you guys don't know, uh, veterans for airsoft raffles, these wonderful wooden flags and and some of them have been actual like dioramas almost like scenes, like paintings on wood. And, And they're made by a veteran. Yeah. What's the company that makes them? Uh, Patriotic Frog. He's Patriotic actually Frog. the gentleman that that introduced me to airsoft. Oh, really? And I have I have half of our team's armory <laughs> that is actually now VFA's armory. And <laughs> what started Veterans for Airsoft was uh, a the leftover remaining amount of a TAC five team account. Nice from from the same team. So nice. like it's it's just kind of just. It's full circle, you know. So we actually have a very good question from Patrick Daly. Is Veterans for Airsoft a 501c3 that can accept donations? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, so so that uh, 501c3 is the big shabam. Um, that's the one that you uh, have 18 months to file for. It's what makes your uh, donation of $75 or more uh, tax, tax deductible. Tax deductible. Um, and so when people want, when people are giving money to an organization, they want to know that their money is going to be protected. And the first line of defense is get in line with the government and get in line with, with how things are supposed to be. So what's the status on that right now? I'm so we're a hundred percent certified. They're hundred percent certified. No, I just, Um, I just wanted that said out loud because so people can know that if you're, if you are donating, your money is being tracked. It has to be reported on ledgers. Everything from and, day one. From and day and one, speaking of, of the the face behind, you know, Freddie is the face in front of uh, VSA. Yes. There is there is a wonderful gal who is the face uh, behind VFA. It's uh, a much prettier face. Yes, it's a much better Rachel, face to look at. I don't know why um, she's which not she face. actually has a very good question in the chat. Uh, Freddie, who is your favorite person on Tiger King? Ooh, good one. Oh, that's you know, um, I'm partial to Seth because she, uh, he was a veteran. And, okay, uh, I can get with that. Yeah, um, but the, man, it, you don't want to go down this rabbit hole. So, I, I, well, I, uh, Ben I, Kiker, <laughs> Ben Kiker says I thought Freddie was Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll get a I kick out be. of this, this brother. Uh, you remember his campaign manager, the guy who seemed the most normal of everybody in the whole show? Yeah, the guy that choked on the vape pen. Yeah, he's all. He also got arrested for like attacking someone in a mall with like a like a cheap samurai sword, like like yes, trying to did. kill him. So what I think yeah. is funny is when you watch the show, the sanest person on it is the guy is the is the coke kingpin from Miami who tried to, who killed an ATF agent and fed him to his tigers. That yeah. seems to be the most sane guy in the whole That's show. That's the guy in Miami. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's all like, "I did my time. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good now. Leave me alone. Yeah, I'm good." <laughs> Alex Mead does have an earnest question. Um, can you guys expand on those woes from groups past? Well, we're That's not about one. saying names, but yeah. just in simplest terms there was accusations that um organizers were promoting that they were donating to uh veterans groups you know like uh what, veterans of foreign wars or fallen warriors or what, whatever region, i guess or something yeah the ones. and it actually came out with one group uh it was brought to the public light that it wasn't happening and so and then right after that, there was a big influx of stolen valor over the next two or three years in the airsoft community. And, you know, literally, if anybody said the word veteran, it was like there was like a negative feeling about it. I came in the sport right when that was starting. And I, w- it, I was so freaked out by the whole atmosphere that it had created that I literally traveled around with my DD-214 in my wallet, a copy, because I would wear my 101st patch, you know what I mean? And I just didn't want any question about it. I'm like, you have a question? Here's where I, you know, oh, here's I, know. Where I me, come from. Me and Woodcock, it's like we'd fold up our DD-214 and put it in a Ziploc bag. And we, I mean, the fact that we had to play with that on us, was, you know? I mean, it was, people were like hunting for it. It was, oh, like, it was like the popular sport. You run anything like that, Freddie? No, I mean, like, like I said, you know, 
when I met Javier, we all met and we, we put a veteran group together and everybody at the table is like, okay, well, how do we, how do we do this? And everybody's just like, dude, pull out something that shows that you serve. Like, here comes my dog tags. Here comes somebody's freaking forklift license that they, that they were driving, you know, on base. And that's like, the, if you're like first, and then we're all laughing about it. The no, fakers never get that shit. It's like, I still have actually my U S army license in my wallet from like 10 years ago. It's just in there so for some I reason. I have my, I have my courier card. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. weird shit like that. That's the stuff that proves, you know, uh, that's the best way to prove it. It's never like, where'd you go to basic man? It's so like, yeah, same place. Everybody else did. We have, Ali Dabari in the chat from Denmark. We haven't heard from Ali in a couple weeks. How's Denmark going? Uh, he says, hi, guys. Ali from Denmark again. My team once had an Afghan I-4 vet with PTSD at a 72-hour Milsim game. Uh, he had a flashback and froze under an yeah. attack with a lot of grenades. Uh, we had to take... Oh, I had to expand that. We had to take a break off with him and go back to the FOB. He got some water, food, and a long talk. He came back and played the rest of the Milsim. Uh, he still plays now, and this was six years ago. Do you guys have some of the same experience with vets and PTSD in the United States? I can speak on that real succinctly. My first event was Broken Home 5, and I had a moment on the north side of the airfield where like nine guys were hosing us down and throwing grenades at us, and I was not there for a while. I needed to walk off the field and take about 40 minutes to just calm myself down. Um, so that is not a crazy story. Um, I mean, nothing traumatic happened, but I needed to be separated from that situation yeah. for a little bit and just and, calm and down. Thank you, Ollie. I mean, it's good that, you know, you're staying safe in Denmark, uh, you know, amongst the, the global pandemic. So it's great. Everybody in the chat. I mean, we've hit 64, 66. We love connecting with all of you out there. To, to hear your that you're safe. Friends. Yes. Have yes. Veteran friends. Get veteran guys that friends. Play Airsoft. Get them in here because. You know, I actually convert. Oh, I'm sorry. Hear all about how nerdy airsoft is. <laughs> and awesome is. And I, actually I would love to. One. I'd love to take a, a crack at the PTSD thing because go for that it. Was I was about the controversy. Yeah, I think go ahead. I was together. literally about to ask you about that. Yeah. we just so uh, the very the very yeah. first event that we took vets to uh, was Rawhide, and it was a, a very small private, less than 50 people, and I had a group of 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 all encompassing uh, Marines, Air Force, Navy, Army. And um, we came down this hill and we're going to breach a building. And so I gave him a flashbang and he threw the flashbang in. Boom. And he goes to go in and the guy inside just lights up the room. Well, he froze, fell back into the wall and I grabbed him and pushed him through. And now fast forward, we didn't, we're just playing, right? Mm -hmm. So fast forward and now we're, we're sitting at the little tavern bar that they have at the ranch. And he's like, I froze, dude. And I was like, Okay. And we started talking and he said, he said, dude, I've, I've never had a flashback. I've never had anything. I don't have PTSD. He, he had two tours, I believe. Um, and so did his brother. And he said, I don't have no issues. What happened? And I was like, I just think that, you know, th there's just that snippet that might connect with something in, in your past life, whether that's it's Milsim related, whether that's, uh, you know, and it's uh, not military related, whether it's a trauma from childhood, it, it could be anything, right? It, we're just talking about the kinetics of the brain. So bam, you have a trigger and you have a response and his response was to instantly freeze. And so he's not played airsoft again. Okay. Yeah. Um, but he thanked us for the opportunity to find out that maybe he should go and talk to somebody. And oh, I think he got good. enrolled with the VA and, and, you know, he went and spoke with somebody and he's been doing great. He's, he lives local to me and, that is we've awesome. also seen we've also seen guys on the field that aren't included with veterans for airsoft that are just out there playing and we've seen them have reactions and um tca had a guy like that he had a bad reaction and the staff being vets uh veterans they all responded in a very loving compassionate way hey oh, man awesome let's talk hear. you off the let's talk you off the ledge Let's bring it down. And, and that's know? and that's the thing is that um, when you guys hear about these reactions, these are not bad things um, because – and not to get too deep into some of this stuff, but part of getting through a lot of this trauma is you have to process it. And the big thing stopping a lot of us when we're in that phase where we're trying to figure out – um, how we're going to get better because it doesn't work the same for everybody. Some people react to drugs. Some people react to therapy. Some people just need time to figure their shit out. 
And the thing is, having one of those events can show you where you are in your, your recovery because the language we use for it is recovery, not you know sickness. It's like being an alcoholic or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. And so basically, if you have those moments, it can cause you to maybe have to process something you weren't ready for or realize that you're not in the place you need to be and you know it's it's not a bad thing to have those and if you can have it in a safe environment especially where you can have people that can show you love and tell you this is not a bad thing you don't have to hide this you can yep. open up you know what i mean like it's a <clears> good so thing we do have a couple questions <clears throat> in the chat um one uh rich gully asks freddie um instead of just monetary donations do you guys accept uh gear or airsoft guns or anything like that cuz he's got a pile yes so um, here's here's the first. So we're, now we're into the third year. So year one, uh, almost everything we used was donated. We initially purchased for for uh, uh, basic AEGs that would just get us, you know, get us started, get us rolling. And then we took in a lot of donations. And what we're finding is that um, with all of these great, fantastic donations that are heartfelt, and we thank you very much, um, a lot of it is unusable equipment. Um, that we have to invest uh, donation, cash donation funds to, to fix. fix. Okay. And oh. so now I've got four or five. I'm being very generous here. Uh, I got a bunch of people's crap that they didn't <laughs> want anymore. Um, that is going to go, you know, I, we bring it out and we say, hey, guys, you know, take what you want from this box. Uh, one guy's like, hey, man, I, I need some mags or some mag holders. We had some in the box. We're like, here. Boom. So, so donations it, are a going mixed bag. right back. Yeah, it's going right back. And then once we get enough, we're going to go to a swap meet and all of the gear then goes back into the community. We take the phone funding money back into VFA. And then what we're planning on doing with the money from our charity game this year, because we've we've just been knocking out these missions. What's the new date on that uh, charity game, by the way? November. November 6th, 7th and 8th. So and where's it going to uh, be at? It's going to be at Sherwood Forest, which is a fantastic AO. Yep, just, um, just got to drop that. Real hopefully, quick. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully closing, hopefully closing out the airsoft season with that game. But you know, we were we were another event that got affected by and, COVID. And so. before we we talk about the second annual charity event for this year, um, Ben Kiker asked, ask Freddie about the book and Craig White. There's, the book? He keeps saying There's that. There's got to be a story. In There's there. a book and a Craig White. Who's yeah. Craig White? Well, it, it's uh it's alpha to omega and it's the milsim guide written by uh, a good friend of mine craig white and uh craig and ben are my arch nemesis uh with tca events so they come in the western forces and and craig wrote a book he's got a second one out and it just goes through basic uh milsim tactics and stuff so uh, we kind of have fun with the fact that like he keeps beating me at these events because he wrote this fantastic book and that everybody needs to read it because if you do read it, you'll <laughs> you'll never lose a Milsim event and uh, they auto- autographed it for me and then I made a meme out of it and <laughs> you know so we, we were we're memeing over here it's a meme war. <laughs> oh hold on. yeah, that's actually Michael Tucker is a vet here Ooh. locally in the Springs. He actually, <clears throat> and I don't think Michael, uh, he's one of my gaming friends. I don't know if he's ever actually played Airsoft or Paintball before. Well, Michael, just so you know, you get in contact with me anytime I'm going out. <laughs> yeah, I have an extra gun for you. So he asks, uh, do you find that there is any catharsis in putting yourself in those situations that cause those uh, panic episodes in a confront your issues head on sort of way? So the technique in in... in- um, in medical terminology, psychology, it's called the flooding technique. Ooh. And so if you're actually using Milsim uh, as a way of therapy, you should definitely be having somebody oversee that. And that's not us. Mm-hmm. Um, so we don't oversee your therapy. Um, but if you're uh, flooding the technique, right? Uh, listen, man, we don't want anybody coming out that's going to have issues. It's going to hurt somebody. Yeah. So if, if, you, if you're thinking to yourself like, ooh, I don't know, uh, then VFA is definitely not for you. Milsim is not for you. But if you're like, I really want to try it, we're going to take you to a local yep. field first. And easy in. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, easy in. 
Oh, sorry. Mike, there's a lot of comments. We've gotten up to 71 live Are viewers. We, am I yes. just, uh, I, should, yes. should I just stop asking questions? We, we'll we just let the chat can, do it. No, we, we can just, go rapid fire, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Nation said, PTSD is why I had to switch platforms from M4 US platforms to foreign arms. Oh, because it does, so it doesn't feel familiar. Right. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a really I was actually the technique. opposite. I was lazy with that. I just wanted M4s because my fingers remembered how to do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gregory Ray says, what is this? Uh, Gregory, so if, if you're coming in late or anybody else um we are having a live podcast um with freddie flux from veterans veterans for, for america oh sorry veterans, veterans for, for airsoft, airsoft. <laughs> wait did i get that veteran word right yes you did okay, get that veteran, for our word veteran right, audience which hey. our word of the night is veteran um listen it's, and it's vfa inc and we can always go to veterans for america <laughs> <laughs> and um america. vfa is a 501c3 um, organization that is trying to get veterans out and doing something fun to help part of I, their... I have a little issue with that terminology. You said trying. They're doing. They're doing. They're doing. Sorry. <laughs> they are getting veterans out um, to do something fun to, you know... And and we're not just talking veterans. I mean, even law enforcement, you know, have uh, hypersensitivity, hyperacuity. integrated back into yes. some kind of community. Yes, they're 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 doing some some great and stuff, and it works. And I can um, tell you it works because I'm one of the, they didn't do it for me. I did it myself, but I'm a product of that. Patrick, now I'm talking to you. Patrick Daly asks: Does Veterans for Airsoft have donation proxies in other states, or does gear have to be mailed to them directly? Good Ooh. question. Did we lose? Yeah. Uh, so oh, um, we still got audio. He's frozen, yeah. but we can still hear. We him. can hear him. So. Yeah, sorry. No, uh, it's okay. My internet connection with this weather. Is the, the, the good, the good uh, thing is, it's frozen on a very good picture of you. So don't, don't worry. Just keep yeah. telling him that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so unfortunately, we don't have any chapters um, associated like that. We didn't build the organization um, currently to handle chapters or anything like that. We don't have future plans for that. What we do have is future plans to build our organization and our presence at each of the, the events that we go to. So like multiple teams kind of thing? Like yeah, you have different listen, teams at different it, events? Yeah, well, it's we're, we're going to more and more events, and the more and more you play with us, the more and more we work with you, and then it's like, oh, okay, that's how chapters and things build. But we're still so brand new in what we're doing that we haven't perfected what it is that I want to present to vets and every vet that comes through our program. So, oh, doing so this, anything is, no, that's, this is still experimental, basically, is what you're saying. I mean, Until you get the final I don't product. Think experimental. I think he's just no, continuing to evolve. He, he's not it, reached I want his to final form. The experience. Yes, he has not reached his final Pokemon <laughs> form yet. And then he'll uh, just super it, Saiyan it, across it, the field, and everybody will be a better. <laughs> Listen, I, I want I want every vet to to come out to an event and just be like blown away, like holy cow! That's ten times more than I got in the military. And there's a lot of guys that will walk away from from anything that's offered right now and have those words to say. Mm -hmm. So it's already being offered. We just want to grow what it is we get. And, and, and when you show up on site and we hand you a tent and a, and a book an SOP and we're like, Hey, go build this. This is where you now are building your squad. And we're grabbing guys from different areas of the U S that are pulled together and we're forming community groups and they're still chatting with each other. And it's, it's good. Ask the guys that have been out with us. They'll tell you 10 times fold. Well, Nick, uh, I've been out with again. you guys, oh, yeah. and it was fun. Nick Harnish says, Freddie knows what he's talking about. I'm going to do air quotes here sometimes. Um, <laughs> but he says, but seriously, uh, Nick and Freddie have held many conversations about Milsim as a healing factor. Man, i gotta got to give hearts to that one. Yeah, can we get some thumbs up for that comment? Because that was awesome. Anything that gives love. I'm, I'm all about yep. that nowadays, especially because I'm locked in my house and I'm you know, close to everybody. So tell us, tell us about the so the second annual uh, VFA charity event, which, which was supposed, which was like right around the corner. Um, yeah. Obviously, for you know, sponsored um, by Balkan. <laughs> yeah, we are one of the sponsors. <laughs> um, you know, you had to move it to November um, for for those that uh, now can maybe they weren't able to because their schedule previously to go on the original date plus it'll be nice and cool yeah so what can they expect um if if they sign up and attend in november well I, uh, sorry 
No, it's uh, it's basically a survival game where we have three clans, uh, three factions, and each of them have a color uh, designator uh, that also matches their uniforms. So we've so, got a, a faction where all military uniforms are in that faction, and then we've got a faction called the Bootleggers, uh, which is a tribute to uh, my my airsoft team that I belong to. Uh, they wear blue flannels um, and multicam black pants, and then uh, or blue jeans. And then Nick Harnish is the leader of the third faction, which is uh, the Slickers, and they're in hoodies and they're like the street kids. So the Slickers. Each, yeah, I, I was I, I was thinking plan. like rain gear when you said that. <laughs> like they're all wearing like big rubber rain boots and you know old school like '60s yellow raincoats and stuff like that. Well, oh, the yellow, the yellow is the color designator for them. Oh, and, is it? Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so, is this a free for all, or is this like two sides with a spoiler so, faction? How's this work? So it's survival with the Terminator theme thrown on top of it. So the fourth faction is Botnet, ran by um, John Lerner, <laughs> and and so he has Terminators, and I host the only game. Well, VFA hosts the only game there where your faction will be told that you don't have to call your hits. And so um, there's oh the speed softers need a place to play. You figured and out my secret why I'm so good at airsoft. If you just don't call your hits, you're you're good, right? Exactly. <laughs> and everybody had fun because they're like, oh, they're not supposed to call their hits, so I need more people to shoot them. So Terminators have special rules. Uh, it takes you know three or more shooters. Do they have to LMG. wear silver suits or do they look like T800s? Uh, so we want everybody head to toe black and. So they're doing like Arnie, covering. Arnie, not like uh, the metal guy. No, I mean, if you want to dress up, I know Tweeny um, from Cobra. He dressed up like a Terminator. And, and it was a <laughs> oh, dude, so, yeah, Tweeny so, is awesome. That's right. <laughs> so we encourage, listen, we wanted to host a game that's like everybody and anybody can come out and play, and it's about raising money for the organization and nice. Nice. and just having fun. Um, so that's what that's what it's that about. Is pre-reg only, or can you show up and get a ticket late on day um, of? So, so it's, everything's pre-reg just okay. because insurance purposes and, and you know how mm. it goes. Um, we always do take walk-ons, um, but the price is a little bit higher okay. you know, as expected. So, so if you want to save a couple yeah. bucks, make sure, as always, register early. Yeah, Javier uh, is actually making a, a very cool comment. Um, there has been a long debate on same Javier, right? That, yes, that we same, both know. Okay, yes, just making sure. He's a good dude, man. Come on, just giving him shit. There, there has been a long debate on the therapeutic potential in airsoft, but without a true medical study, it will always be anecdotal. Totally agree. Correct. Yep, it will be something individuals try and decide if it works for them or not. But there is a lot of lonely vets, but friendship and camaraderie is a tangible thing to offer sometimes it's just as simple as that because airsoft is like two percent on the field and it's a rest drinking beer with your buddies around a fire right Ex exactly yep. that's exactly what it is <laughs> you know you so wanna, you want to have quality gear to go out have fun have yep. a play time yeah. come back and then a great place to just unwind and tell stories oh dude. Those, yeah, I, just, and not I be remember, judged for your stories either that's that's one thing i really love I about this community no i remember judgment. when i first met freddie um at uh, Blast Camp Paintball and Airsoft, and he was the faction commander at Conflicts, and uh, I was just some rando running around under his command. But um, to just sit there, it was Friday. I think it was Friday night uh, in their VFA tent, and this was before like the whole big branding. I mean, he's running around with just a Coleman pop up, like all of us, you know. And but yeah, it was, we uh, collective. We, we I, no, it's like somebody went out and got hot wings, and we're just sitting there underneath this pop up, eating hot wings, just talking and just getting to know each other, and that's what it's about. That's what it's about, right there at its core. You know what is missing in a lot of airsoft events that the veteran community really craves is rain. Like getting through rain delays is a veteran, you know, eating up time. Like if you can build that in, we are so good as a community of that. Like I have never seen another vet bitch that he had nothing to do. Because it's like a book comes out, your phone comes out, you know, they, they, they just go to sleep randomly. Like, it is the best group of people to kill time with because everybody knows how to do it right. You know? Yeah, and self-sufficiency here. Yep. <laughs> you know, I always tell guys, like, hey, you're getting thrown in the deep end, no hand-holding here. We're right back in the military, you know. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure you you have everything that you need, but start asking questions and don't look, don't look like you're an idiot. Well, what's, <laughs> what's funny is the funniest question I've ever heard from a, a new vet that, you know, playing airsoft – and it's a legitimate question. Does it hurt? 
And I would never, <laughs> you know, I'm like, you know, I never thought about that. Like I less mean, than a real bullet, yes. I mean, <laughs> that's the last thing you're thinking about on the field. I know, yeah. right? Um, because I'm never going to get hit. I'm that good. <laughs> you're a T-800. Uh, Edwin Morales asks, are there any future events planned that will be anywhere near the Virginia area? Oh, you have an audience. They're, they're asking for it. Yeah, so... Um, Dude, events. Let's not talk about events because we don't even know where they're, we don't even know where they're going. There's some. There's uh, South Carolina Third Coast Airsoft rescheduled for next month. Yeah. Um. But that's not that's none of my business. And um, we just got to stand by for the schedule. I updated the VFA website, which you can go there and get swag. We got new there's swag. There's swag. Yeah. Veteransforairsoft.org. Well, here's the thing, you know, people might not want to do cash donations and we understand that actually mm -hmm. 90% of the donations that we get are uh, purchases of patches, uh, raffle tickets. And everybody loves um, patches. Hats. Patches. Yeah. Are and that, that was, that was how we launched it. I mean, like you'd be surprised how many patches we've sold to support the organization. And are those it's, patches, those lovely, uh, that lovely VFA symbol on your shirt there, the kind of Captain America esque or not. Captain, oh, they, I can't say that. that. They can see the red, white, and a blue comic right there on the screen. Comic book esque. Oh, I got it on the screen there. To, of course. Boom. Yeah. No other side, other corner. Oh, is it over here? Yeah. yeah right there. there you, you got it now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's see. Oh, there was a good question. Uh, Pat or John Phillips asks, is there a YouTube page for VF? a something on the line of displaying what you do on the field and some gameplay yep. footage something like that i heard you guys are working on that i heard some yes. things so we do have a youtube channel um we've got a measly 20 subscribers hold on <laughs> we've got like three small little clips it's nothing 31 um, i'm 31 right there 31 <laughs> just got 31 <laughs> oh there we go okay so uh i'm we're Trending. currently working on um, doing our own podcast series where we talk to vets that have come through our program to help spread the message because that's where we want to drive this forward. We're, we're, the train is already rolling forward on equipment and on these missions that we need to sidetrack a little bit and start pulling more vets in mm -hmm. and getting the awareness out there, what it is that we actually so do. You, and so you've kind of hit that phase where it's like, it would be, you started out saying it'd be really cool if we had stuff to equip people with. And then all of a sudden that happened and you're like, oh crap, well now we need the people to equip it with, <laughs> you know, like yeah, that's kind and, of where you're at. Yeah. And so we have, we have a list of about 200, um, potential really? veteran players. Uh, we've serviced just over 40% of those, which I'm extremely happy about in one way or another, they've been given equipment, um, come out to an event, uh, or gotten the full treatment. Uh, oh, so this is a multi-level thing. I didn't realize. So you, you either yeah. can like just provide some equipment for someone who needs it or get them a day on the field if they have their own equipment or like completely do the whole experience if they need it basically. Right. If you're, if you're one of the poor, mm -hmm. right. And you're a veteran that's afraid to ask for some free stuff. You got some free worry, shit. Man. Veterans got some veterans for airsoft got some free shit for you no matter what, but you got to pay for your ticket. Oh, right? okay. Once you, once you come through the program, you got to pay to play. Cause if we don't pay to play, we don't get to play. Yep. Um, and so I understand that our organization understands that my wife is pushing it big time. We mentioned her. Thank you, Rachel, for all that you do. Um, that keeps us in line and, I mean, and, and driving forward. And part of that's just, and we just the put in the now. chat, Sorry. the, a link to their YouTube channel. Okay. So, uh, I, and so like part of that too, is a lot of people kind of forget if you haven't done national level airsoft, um, it's expensive. It's not just about equipment. It's about the ticket. It's about getting there. Like, and so, yes, if there's costs involved in this, you know, that's uncontrollable, but at the same time, like if just the equipment or the camping stuff or travel, you know, traveling with someone is a huge cost cutter, you know? So just keep that in mind when you guys are hearing that. Yeah. And we want, we want to give you every reason to say yes. Ooh, I like that. Oh, right? salesman. So salesman. So it's like, okay, let's bring it out. I'm going to give you every reason to say yes, because I'll come pick you up as long as you're in line. And that's, that's the hard part of, of reaching 200 of these guys is I've got to, do you have the time off? Do I have the time off? Yeah. Are you in route? So there's a lot of logistics and yes, it would be fantastic to open up all these little chapters, but you know what would happen? It dilutes it. We would it. die. We it would die. Yeah. It, it would, it would dilute what we're doing and we would have no control of it. And, you know, 
Um, but at the same time, you have yeah. the example of like, and I'm, I'm going to use the Hells Angels as an example here, because they were like the first biker gang, right? And they didn't like necessarily start chapters everywhere, but people looked at what they were doing and they're like, oh, that's, oh, sorry, Motorcycle Club. I can't say biker gang. That's, that's <laughs> defamation. Motorcycle <laughs> Club. But like, essentially, other people saw what they were doing and then copied it, you know what I mean? Everywhere. And I'm not saying that you guys are a gang or anything. I mean, you might be. I don't know. Um, but, sorry. Yeah, this, yeah. this is, this uh, is the, how he walks the dog. You Sorry. just have to follow him. But it, the, the idea is more, instead of spreading it under your wing, is to inspire people to do the same thing, kind of that, that idea. Yeah, so we challenge teams. And so we have a really big uh, community support from teams. So I challenge the teams. Ooh. You know a local vet. Uh, local vet Scoop will his ass up. Us, and I say, hey, uh, oh, you're in Virginia? Here, check out Roanoke Airsoft. I got nice. a guy that, that I know that can put you in contact. You can get out and play now. And, and I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that if a veteran who could not afford it showed up at the local field, these field owners would take care of you. I I guarantee you that. Um, right? I, I'll, I'll speak oh, yeah. from experience on that. Um, it's I've hard not to be given special treatment if they find out you're a veteran on the field. A lot of people don't realize that. It's hard to blame. Yeah, them. and it's it's hard to be humble. Yeah. Uh, Eugene Sandberg says, "I love the on the spot auction at Bone Strike by Jaws." Have you considered doing more of that? What, what was that? What? I don't know. What I'll, I'll let Freddie tell the story. Yes. So there's been a few times uh, on the uh, Z Shot and, and Wallace started it uh, the very first year and just all of a sudden just took over and held his own auction. And so Jaws, um, TDZ, fantastic. Again, I, like I say, these teams that support us, these are big teams in the community that, you know, we can send these players to after they come through our organization to get linked up with guys that are doing the exact same thing that we are, but we'll give them more attention so we can focus on bringing more vets in. Yep. TDZ is one of these teams that gets behind us and Jaws won a prize twice at a Centurion event um, and at Bone Strike. And he turned around and took his prize and he auctioned it off for hundreds of dollars. Really? Both times. And That's rad, then, then as he auctioned it, the guy who bought it turned around and gave us the kit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so now we're able to do one of two things. We either add it to the armory or we turn around and try and, you know, raise more money with it and, and get it back into the community. Cause the idea is that we want players playing. Mm -hmm. We want the community growing. So it's, Jaws is fantastic. It was really awesome to see that at uh, Bone Strike. So if you're looking for an inspiration for, guys who do cool things i think winning a prize auctioning it off and then ending up the prize and the money going to the charity that's pretty much like a thousand percent cool points on my list one oh, million cool it points is, for that but i do have to caution because we don't we don't want veterans for airsoft to hijack events here no. okay you know uh, uh these these uh raffles are about the players the raffles are about the sponsors and veterans for airsoft really appreciates all the support that's why we bring these flags out that are veteran made Take a drink. And, um, <laughs> oh, they're, 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 and they're, wood. they're, event, they're, 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 they're wooded. Specific. They are, and they're, they're event specific. They're beautiful, too. I remember seeing that first stayed... one a couple of years ago, and it's just amazing. Yeah. It's like 3D, too. What happened? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're good. We're good. You guys will get that in like two seconds in the chat. Right here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Are, are you doing uh, Easter eggs this, to, this I week? I, apparently it's, I didn't hey, know. tomorrow's Good Friday, and this, is it this good, Sunday is, is it Easter. Is it Good Friday this weekend? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. where tomorrow's uh, Good Friday. Good Friday's the one where the Easter Bunny lays the eggs, right? I can't remember which one's which, or like the little ducklings. I don't know, <laughs> something. I, the Easter story has become a little convoluted with uh, commercialism over the years. It's yeah. gotten a little weirder. <laughs> um, so, man, this is this has been some cool uh, conversation. Um, We've come to close to the end of our time. Have we already um, hit the end? How did we do that? Really already? Like that oh, quick? Yeah. yeah, but we're not done yet. Oh, okay. We're not, now we're okay. not doing events tonight. Well, we, we can't really do events because there's there's no events. Yeah, there's no <laughs> events really. Everything. I mean, it's everything's got pushed to like or Thanksgiving or, or Christmas. <laughs> but um, but we just wanted to share some some positivity uh, with our viewers. Um, because we know we have some viewers celebrating birthdays. We do. This a couple. Week. A couple. 
Speaking of positivity, week. dude, I'm really bummed because I I, I want to say this in public. Like, I was supposed to see you like three times this spring and hang out because VFA always seems to have their tent next to ours for some reason, you know. And I like, I'm I like you guys. I'm a little butthurt that I haven't seen you in a while, <laughs> man. Like, you know, Corona has is been good for me, kind of, but bad for me, like seeing friends. And I'm sorry about that, man. But I'm glad to have you some know, time with you. <laughs> me and Doug, me and Doug on Friday and Saturday nights. So it'll be Saturday night this weekend. We we just post up a Zoom thing and and. You know, last weekend we had nine guys in there chatting it up. So feel free to jump in with us on the weekend. Send We're me roll invite, back, brother, bro. man. <laughs> always. Until, I will always stop until in. Until Aristotle out. comes back. And we, then we can actually hang out in person. Doom. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if we got – do we got – I got the confetti going. Let's see if we got some birthday music. Yeah, we got some birthday music. We have birthday music in the background? Yeah, we have, we have birthday music. Birthday so, music? Oh, my. Um, this has gotten bad. So who, 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 do, who do we have for uh, – uh, Today is what the thirteenth or no seventh eighth April oh I don't know something what's today I, I date? forgot what what's today's what the, date what hold on let me is. let me see so who, 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 Thursday so, April 9th. so <laughs> Freddie's gonna try not to screw up these names um, so Freddie who who we got that's got birthdays here in the air right, and these are all air not. these are all airsoft community friends and and folks that are uh, we see out and about. Oh, hold on. Maybe I should take those two off the list then, because I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's up first, brother? Uh, Marissa Gregorich. Marissa Gregorich. She's a prior winner too Is on she, the show. Uh, yep. Has she won some good swag? Or oh, she has. She won gloves. gloves. She won Kilo gloves. gloves. Ooh, yeah. Like lucky, lucky. Who's up next? Alan Sun. Oh, Alan Sun, man. He's been around this name. industry a long, long time. I know time. that name from somewhere. Why do I know that name? I know that name. I can't think of where I can place that. I'm so bad with names lately. It's, it's getting bad. Who else? Who's up next? Trace Sweeney. Oh, Ooh, Trace Sweeney. What up, Trey? The, the Halo. Um, he dresses up Halo. He has a full like, like Master Chief costume. Yeah. I've seen. What did he play? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how he hasn't dehydrated and died yet. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'd be good for like a five minute like speed soft game in that. And then I need to go throw up for about 20 minutes. <laughs> Who else we got? I'm dancing in front of the local grocery store with a bucket in front of me with that suit. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Alexander. Oh, Ooh, Yankee, Yankee himself. himself. And I tagged him. I have not seen him pop up in here. He was here last episode. On the... I know, but has he been here He tonight? might be busy. Well, he's uh, well, he's not working right now. Cause no, he is working. Are, aren't the casinos closed down? Oh, yeah. That's right. So he should I be I forgot. Home. Shame, Greg. You know what? Mm. Greg has such a nice spread that he's probably enjoying himself in that beautiful backyard right now in, in Louisiana. He doesn't want to spend time with us. He's, he's going to catch on repeat, I guarantee. But Greg Alexander, awesome dude. AMS, family member. Um, if you are on, what is it called, UFS, you will probably end up seeing <gasps> him as a combat controller at some point. Legendary guy. Check this out. Freddie, Ben Hiker just said, Airsoft Junkies is creating a special product code for VFA donations, go to the Airsoft Junkies website and donate to VFA. The money will build in an account and be available for Freddie and VFA to use on any equipment or gear that they may need. I will be starting the fun with a five hundred dollar donation. Whoa. Oh wow! Then everybody Kiker. in that chat right now, oh. right now, give love. Air give love and to Matt. Airsoft Junkies will match. All contributions made. This is happening right now. Freddie does oh, not know, God. so can you announce it to him? <laughs> We're announcing it now. right now. Oh my god. And I goodness. just want to put this out this there, is guys. Crazy. That That's is crazy. really, really cool. That is, I mean That is super That is an awesome. amazing thing. And plus the best part is he's making Freddie blush right now, which is you know, fantastic. <laughs> he's speechless. This vet is speechless right now. Yeah. Oh, Marissa, she showed up. Hey, happy birthday, Marissa. By the way, this is an actual coupon code. This is not us joking like we normally joke about coupon codes. This is real. This Trey. Is not, happy like, birthday, Trey. Go get nothing. <laughs> so who else? Who we got on the list? Uh, Gus Dossi. Gus, Gus Dossi. Faluda. Faluda. Faluda Gap. Gap. He, oh, they are. They, oh, right. They should be getting ready. And actually, that should still be on for War Game 3, right? I don't, I don't know. September, you think? That should be still good? I don't know. I don't know. I but don't know. Mud Crab Mills him. Yep. Mud Cram, or as we, as we like to call it on the show. <laughs> who, else is, who else got birthday this week? Kyle Himley. Kyle. Nice. I don't know, Kyle. Sorry. I'm sure you're a wonderful person, but I just don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> who else? Derek Foreman. Oh, Big D. The D? A-D? Jesse Garcia. 
No, oh, you oh, said it wrong. Gracia. You said Sorry, it wrong. Gracia. Jesse Gracia. I know Sorry. that guy. Gracia. Gracia. I, Gracia. 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 I know that guy. He is not only a proud member of our law, law enforcement law enforcement community, but he is also a regular cast member on Gorilla Airsoft Podcast. Gorilla Airsoft Podcast. Mm-hmm. And speaking oh. of Airsoft and Podcast. And a hell of a good guy and great Airsoft player as well. So if you're looking for another uh, outlet of listening to podcasts, um, whether on SoundCloud or iTunes or whatever, here's here's some here's some ones to follow. You got Gorilla Airsoft Podcast. You got they're, they're broadcasting again, so they're actually yes. podcasting. Yep, um, but remotely they're remotely. they're they're practicing so they're social distancing. Yep, um, another serious airsoft podcast. They're back again too. Yeah, so they're not broadcasting again. And the Chair Softer show in the UK, and he's back as well. I heard. Yep. So actually, your entertainment's coming back. I'm glad you guys hung <clears> with <throat> us for you know this dry spell, and we're glad if you stay. Yep. But if you're looking for Look everybody this. else, is coming back too. Jesse's in there. Happy birthday, Jesse. Happy Jesse birthday, Gus. Kyle. Happy birthday, Kyle. Happy birthday, Gus. Look at that. Oh. Last I'm, one, Robo Murray. Oh. Robo Murray. We got who's, who's Robo Murray? We got everybody you know bomb guy? tag Robo Murray right now. If he's on your friends, if you list. don't know Robo, Robo oh is gosh. one of the nicest, most down to earth dudes who he is. has over a hundred thousand Instagram followers. This may sound weird, <laughs> but he was the first player where, that I handled. I'm gonna leave that one right where it is. I don't even need to make a joke about that one. Hey, sponsored players have handlers just like the CIA, you know, for their informants. Yeah, that, you know? that's what you meant by handle. That's that's <laughs> totally what you meant yeah. by handle, dude. Oh, Joe Mini from Gorilla Airsoft, they said they're not broadcasting tonight. They, they probably do every other week, I, so. I, I'm sorry. They're in every other week, but they are broadcasting yeah. again. They're just doing it in a different format. I just more wanted to say you guys are still on the air and people can watch you. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I know. It's like <laughs> Bomb Tag Robo Murray. I want just he's the, he's the only one that hasn't shown up oh, to get Freddy his. Oh, Freddie Flux started watching to, finally. Awesome. Oh, I know, right? What's up with that guy? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Is that all our birthdays, brother? That is all of them. Ooh. Yeah. That's fun. That's a that's a new fun segment to replace. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll have, oh, I we'll have tr- a, like events at some point and we can actually start scheduling Re- them. Rescheduled events. So, here's always the thing I love asking people as we kind of end this. What is your bucket list airsoft experience? Like, what is your your pie in the sky? If you could do anything with unlimited budget, what would you do? Mm. Um, I would rent a Humvee. I would get a, a four man squad. Me being one of them, we would get Halo tickets and we'd go to GTI and just just play the four of us in a Humvee, rocking through. Just you know, Wait totally minute. selfish. I know you're but saying that would be that you're bucket list is to go back to tca with just better kit that's a that's a big statement right there about tca dude it's it, you know uh if centurion had helos that would be it no I, i'm not fantastic. i'm not so talking between trash about centurion companies. i just i just was more trying yeah, to point out huge... that like you just said i just want to go back to tca that's a rad kind of statement right there because i have I'm, yet I'm just... to do a tca i'm kind of butthurt it's yeah coronavirus I, ruined it for they've, me. they've groomed me for who i am um they're they're partly responsible for who VFA is and what we do and where we go. And they're, they've never asked any questions and they've always just been giving back to the vets, uh, any tickets that we've ever needed. Um, and we actually raised the money. Um, somebody in the community threw down a thousand dollars on a flag and we're able to, we were able to put, uh, we were able to get helo tickets. So when the helos back up in the air, it'll have VFA vets riding on it. And that's nice. So it's speaking awesome, of dude. like a Humvee, have you you guys have any plans for doing a technical in the future, maybe or something like that to drive around? Yeah, in? 20, 2021, maybe. I'm just saying, like I might know a guy who can yeah, help you out with that. I'm just saying. Yeah, I might know a guy. No, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I've got I've uh, uh, Gabe Leo from TCA. He called me a, a, a steely eyed killer, and so I got I got I got one eye on it. I'm at it. Um, you know, it's it's about the wow factor for these guys. Um, for me, I'm like, hey, I'm cool just being the guy with the radio. And getting into gunfights here and there, we really want to just push the squad mentality and just as want a to go commander, for a walk really... on, a, on a on a big cool place to go on a walk kind of thing. More yeah, than anything riding else. The helo, man. Uh, riding in that helo is way better than drag racing motorcycles. So you, you want to know a little admission here? Um, so I spent two and a half years in the hundred and first, deployed Afghanistan, the whole nine yards. I am deathly afraid to fly. I hate helicopters more than anything. I'm terrified of helicopters. Dude, I was a, I was a jump master and I'm I'm scared of heights. Yeah, how does that happen? 
It's, There's got to be some psych profile just, that got to be better. We just that. harness our fear because it's a job. You just got to let I it just, go. I just look at the ground the whole time. So like the whole, I, I always, it always makes me laugh when I hear people like wanting to do helo runs because I'm like, I don't want to be. <gasps> that thing. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you Alex, know what I mean? Alex like, Mead said, calling it right now. I want to see Freddie Flux airsoft as a <gasps> pirate. <gasps> That's what oh, yes. that. Capture that. Capture that right there. Freeze that. <laughs> I'm excited. That. I don't know how you're staying presentable, but I'm getting slowly more like hobo as we go. And I don't know how this is. I don't know how this is happening. You know what I mean? Because like he looks like he's a hobo. I look oh, like yeah. a hobo. You keep looking better. Hold on. Are you secretly going to the barber? Oh Ooh. yeah. Is that is that one of those uh, Fatco specials up top there? This is Fat- a Fatco oh. custom trim. <laughs> this is what I'm talking. Right here. Twenty dollars, brother. Speaking you can get your fat co cool custom trim anytime you want. Just head on down to your local Kroger grocery store, grab you some clippers, and shave it away. You can do it too, brother. There are tons <laughs> of gun builders right now that are home from their normal day to day jobs and have extra time and nothing going on. So speaking to you guys out there, if you have a project you want to get done and you're not technically savvy, Call one of those guys. Fat Co, John Zero, Stampede. Any other names you can think of? Off the oh, my head? gosh. Uh, Airsoft Junkies. Oh, far, right off that, Airsoft Junkies. They've been building yeah. stuff left and right in their spare Dude, time. I remember when I you know, used to sell Prometheus barrels and buckings to Sam like back in the day. And they've been doing custom bills like forever. So they're definitely you would recommend. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely recommend. So please check it out, guys. If you got a project going on, you have a dream, you have something. You're not going to be playing for like three or four months, so we might as well get that exactly so, what we want to play with. Freddie, this happens. pirate thing is kicking off. Yeah, so, like 2021, the third annual VFA events, you got to have pirates, dude. Pirates, you got to so pirate, have pirates. Pirates are going to have to do work their way in could there. Maybe lead the pirate faction. I think we might be pirate enough to do that. What do you think? You think we could have a pirate faction? I mean, you saw me at Avalon. I think that you're, all you need to do is just put an eye patch on the front of that die ma- that mask, and you're good to go. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yep. Oh. oh. <laughs> we already Alex, have volunteers Alex for Alex saying a Kaiju game. doing his best Pawn <gasps> Stars Rick impression. You know what I just forgot? We got that new uh, flintlock pistol. We do. That would be perfect for Greg. CO2, you know Greg what I'm Alexander. It's out there. Greg Alexander finally showed up. Happy birthday, Greg. Greg, <laughs> awesome. And please say hi to all your family because they are the most delightful, wonderful, welcoming people on the face of the planet. <gasps> Mark Anderson, 31 kilo. Much love, guys. Mark, we love you, man. Wait, 31 kilo? What's 31 kilo? Is that MPs or is that 21? Mark Anderson, this is... Oh, never he, mind, sorry. No, he works with Taxim Media Group. Yeah, we were speaking different. I thought he was oh. using MOS code. Yeah. And I was like, 31 kilo? Like, kilos are tankers, but, like, what's 31 series? I can't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's something weird, like, trans. Oh, Ty- Tyler Wild says, uh, Freddy's got to go pirate at Ship of Fools now. <laughs> oh. You know what would be... The, that would be a fun game to go to. Do they still do that, like, take down the aircraft carrier game somewhere? That, like, tactical simulation thing? Uh, because if you all right, so you're talking about on the Navy vessel, yeah, like the yeah, be- on the USS Hornet. So that guy, he said he'd never do it again, um, because he had to like chain mail all of the lights <laughs> to ensure. Yeah, he said he'd never do it again. Like it wasn't worth it. I was more just um, thinking that like everybody else is decked out all milsim and tactical and tactical, but just to show up with like peg legs and like especially like vets, with cut with, like, off a- shorts, UT vets with like peg legs and cut yeah. off shorts and. And, and like night vision. Yeah, and night vision. Like night I'd vision. like a mix of like both like old Caribbean pirates and like Somalian pirates represented. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I want old and new pirates, you know? <laughs> yeah, the Hawaiian shirts is a must. Yeah. And I just want to walk around saying I'm the captain now. <laughs> to everybody for no reason. <laughs> Look at me. Look, Look at, at me. me. <laughs> Do you want your soda or not? I'm the captain now. Do you want this soda? Now. It's a dollar. I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> just over and over again for no reason. It's really oh, intimidating, it honestly. Yeah, it is. I mean, there you could do you could do uh, you could do so much. Um, but man, Freddie, this has been a blast. Is it time to go? Catching up. Yes, it is. It's time to go. I don't want to go. It is time to go. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, the oh. boss. The boss is going to pull the plug. It is we didn't? We actually before he goes, we forgot to select a. a oh, we got to select a winner. Yep, we got to so. select a winner. Which actually did you I, pull up the program for that? The I did. Okay. I actually ran it. I almost okay. thank you. Just wanted to make for sure. Reminding me because and well, also we forgot to the name give our shout me. out to elite uh, to uh, uh, I forgot to read my elite force copy. So I got to do that right before we go out. Oh no! And can you guys plug that junkies code again? Oh, the junkies code. Oh Sorry. yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, for those of you just you know coming in, if you go to airsoft junkies right now, 
there is a, uh, a you can go find it a VFA donation uh, button on there where you can just throw it in your cart, make a donation. Um, is it at checkout it, or something like that? Do you think probably? Yeah, it's it's on their website okay. right now. Um, whatever you donate, uh, Airsoft Junkies is going to match. And Ben Kiker just made a five hundred dollar donation just earlier. So I've seen Sam's RV. He can match a lot. Yeah, and so <laughs> this fund is going to be accessed uh, by v- by Freddie and VFA for when he needs to get more equipment and gear to have more veterans come out and try airsoft you know he's gonna this, have the equipment and gear to this do benefits it. all of you guys too because keep in mind just because they're veterans doesn't mean they don't become airsofters when they come out you know what i'm saying yeah. like so this grows the community helps people out who need it that we all love and, and care about and it's just a good thing so we're at 80 percent there's an actual statistic number for you 80 percent of people that come through play again and are 80%? continuing to play okay so that's, oh, that's, wow. a, that's a good conversion number. I'm, I'm down with yeah. that, whether it's real or not. <laughs> hey, we'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. Fake so, news. Fake news. <laughs> the the Damn. random number generator has returned the name Patrick Daly. Patrick Daly. Uh, Patrick, or if anybody who's watching, if he left, if you know Patrick. I think he's still in the chat. If Patrick, yeah, you're in the and, chat. And we you, do go to AMS events, Patrick. If you are not a member of the Vulcan Alliance, you need to go join that so we can get your information yes. and get your good stuff out to you. Just head on over to VulcanAlliance.com, click that join button. Um, so I have your I shipping think, information, everything. I think and giving then, up your address for a hundred dollar item is not a bad trade, right? Yeah. Um, make sure you DM the Vulcan Airsoft Facebook page and let me know if you would like a Airsoft Innovation Cyclone grenade. Oh, I forgot. I was, or an Airsoft I, Innovations XL Burst grenade. I was repping Airsoft Innovations today. I forgot. Oh, you were? Yeah. I was, I was totally by accident. Patrick Daly, he is in the chat. There, there you go. go. Congratulations. Yeah, just send it. Go register <clears throat> for the Alliance if you're not. If you're if you are a member, just let us know. And we'll hunt you down. Yep, yep, yep. Easy peasy. So um, I love giving stuff away. I know. I right? want to give a gun away. Tell all your friends next week. I want to give something big away. I want a hundred viewers next week. If we, I want to. I'll give one of my guns away. I don't care. Actually, let's see real quick. Let me see if I can. You know what? I was able to pull up that you the YouTube channel. Let me. I'm going to go to airsoftjunkies.com. Think if you can pull up. See, actually, see, like do. A oh yeah. I can, oh yeah. I can do. A, I can do a screen grab. This is. Yeah, this we're going to do a screen grab. This we are fun and fast. This works. We're doing this, and this is the cool part. We're doing this without our usual team. This is just him doing it on the same computer. We're we're doing this. Like th- we normally have a team of thirty or forty that handles all these technical difficulties. So, thumbs up for Kaiju right now. Uh, oh, that is that is a really slick little. Ooh, I like there, that. There, there it is. Hold on. Okay, let me let me throw it up over here. Whoop. I like that. That's a cool donation thing right there. Let's let's see. There there it is. So, Freddie, um, if if you make that into a t-shirt, the donate a banger <laughs> thing, I will buy several of them. That is a rad yeah. little bit of graphics there. So, you got $50, yeah. $100, $25 and donate a banger. I know. Yeah. Look at that right there. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, that's Hi, that's your next guys. t-shirt right boom, there, dude. Boom, boom. Is this is the veteran's shield with that lovely lady in front of it. <laughs> So <clears throat> shout out to Rudiman Arms for the design on Turk. that work. Is that Turk that did that? Yeah, Turk. yeah, yeah. love Turk. Turk's work. Oh, hey, he Lucky joined us, job. by the way. Who, which, who joined us? Lucky Ranch. I oh, he's been before. here a while. Oh, did I miss him earlier? Yeah. What's up, he's Lucky? He's a top fan. Lucky's I a top like fan, saying bro. I like saying hi to Lucky. I had a, actually a great time with Lucky at Lion Claws, and Lucky is actually such a humble player and so calm that I kind of loudly told, like, you know, slapped his gun away because he was shooting up some steps when he wasn't supposed to with a, you know, automatic weapon indoors. Yeah. He didn't realize that. He thought, like, well, you know, I'm, it's a big building, so I'm within engagement <laughs> distance, you know? And I kind of was like, I just didn't want him to get in trouble. And his reaction was, what's going on, man? Not like, what are you doing, you a-hole or anything like that. It was just, oh, okay, cool. I get that now. No worries. I think it was like, hey, dude, you used to cry tech. It goes single shot indoors? <laughs> <laughs> dude, <laughs> Nick. Lion, Nick, remember Lion on. Claws, no clockwork magazines indoors. That's the rule, remember? Yeah. Nick Harnish says, oh, much Freddy. love, Freddie Flux. Need to get you all the gear from LBS. Mm, London Bridge? No, is not no, LBS. Lost, Lost Boys of Saber. Oh, Lost Boys of Saber, yeah. bro. Oh, they didn't... donate to the the charity game, so <laughs> ah, they donate to the raffle. Lost Boys of Saber. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to <laughs> take away your exposure okay. bucks. I will okay. send you about <clears throat> 500 exposure bucks in the mail, and that'll be good. That, will that work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, Freddie. Are we heading out? Yep. Thank you oh. very much. Big shout out to our sponsors, the Falcon Alliance, uh, Enola Gay, 
and Elite Force Airsoft. Please stay airsoft. safe out there, guys. I know this quarantine stuff sucks. Social distancing. Let's do the right suck thing. This up for a couple more. Do weeks the right thing so we can get back to life, guys. I know it's and if it prolongs, it prolongs. I mean, we all want to get back out and pew pew. I know. I know. Ryan Dean is like itching to shoot somebody in the face with an airsoft. I'm gun. about to start chasing my wife around the house with an airsoft. Gun. I know. That, right. That's kind of where I'm at. But um, if if we all do our part now, it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. Once everything opens back up again, because the worst thing that could happen is that open back, it opens back up and then it gets locked down again because people weren't, you know, following rule number one, which is don't touch your face. And last thought, <laughs> guys, remember, uh, social distance, uh, physical distancing does not mean we have to socially distance. Check in with your friends, check in with your neighbors. You can have a conversation porch to porch. It's still good to go. So you live in an apartment complex, yep. have a balcony party. Ooh, like you're in uh, Italy or Spain or something like that. I've seen they've been getting oh, down yeah. with that. You know, so check in with people. If you haven't heard from someone in a while, this is we all have the time to check in with old friends now. Look so at that. We got that we got Ricky guys. Bobby going on over here. You know, friends. I, <laughs> I was Bobby. playing I squad this afternoon. <laughs> I was playing squad with this afternoon with a guy named Mike Honcho was his was his name. And I immediately launched into the Mike Honcho line and he starts dying. And everybody else is like, what is wrong with this dude? He's like, you're the first one to get that reference. In two years of playing this game. I was like. I know you did a spread for Playgirl. I know, dude. Uh, <laughs> all right, Freddie, give give our love to Rachel and the kids, man. Thank you for Be joining safe, brother. us. Guys, so love much. you, man. We'll Good see evening. you guys next week when we have Javier from Centurion Milsim and Colonel Viduga. You can't say that name out loud. You can't say that name out loud. Centurion <laughs> Milsim, Colonel Verduga. And I know Freddie. He loves Verduga. A veteran of the Ferris fight. Ooh, you like that? Yeah. Put that one in there. All right, everybody. Remember, guys, <laughs> arrive, raise hell, and leave. See you next week. But there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace, and you can have it in the next second. Surrender. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. We will not go quietly into the night. It is your killer instinct which must be harnessed if you expect to survive in combat. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Remember this day, man. Or it will be yours for all time. What keeps you awake at night? Nothing. I keep other people awake at night.